Good morning. Today we're speaking to Prof. Abdon Atangana, one of our very highly rated researchers. So, Prof, I have a couple of questions for you. Thank you. Would you care to share with us how did you become a researcher? Yes. Uh, maybe I should start when I was young. What motivated me? Uh, when I was doing uh, Form 3 in Cameroon, we were solving many theorems, proving many theorems. But what I noticed is that all these theorems are named after people from the global north. And in my mind, I asked myself, does that mean there is no one in Africa that has contributed in mathematics? And I look inside the literature and I did not see the name of an African man attached to a mathematical formula. And that started making me to ask many questions, giving me motivation to, to, to say that one day I will also have my name attached to a mathematical formula. So uh, I left Cameroon after I got my, my, my first degree. Then I came in South Africa, I did my honors and my master. Then I learned what uh, I'm expert today, fractional calculus. And uh, from there, I noticed that it was possible for me to develop several formula and several methods that can be used in uh, many fields of science, engineering and technology. So that is how I started and that is how I became a researcher. And that is how I came to know Prof. Atangana, very passionate, very passionate about what he does, passionate about the continent of Africa. As he has said before in the research, we, he wants to have Africa up there with everybody else. So Prof, can you share with us, what are you currently working on? Uh, I'm actually working on uh, a new concept. What is the concept ab ab about? The concept is, uh, you know, uh, they, they taught us about the differential operator, and that this differential operator allows us to calculate the variation of uh, a specific function if the function goes up, down, or equal to zero. But that has limitation. Uh, I will give you an example. Uh, for people that are married, uh, sometimes you really want to go home and have a good time with your wife. Sometimes you say, I don't want to go home, I don't want to see her. So in life, there is a, a, a switch, if I can say, crossover behavior. And the current differential operator that we are having now cannot actually capture all those type of behavior. So I introduce a new concept that they call piecewise calculus, and it's not being used by many people. And uh, that piecewise calculus, uh, people told me that, that Prof, this is very complex. Can you develop a book? Can you write a book where you will uh, uh, show us the theory, you will show us the methods, and you will show us where you can apply it in the real world? So, as I'm talking now, uh, that book is almost finished. Uh, so, I'm working on that book so that it can be released maybe the end of this year. Yes. Prof. Antangana is very well published and he serves as reviewer and so forth in a lot of articles and books. So, Prof., any other interesting gaps in your field that you'd like to share with us? Yes, there are many. Uh, I think a few years ago, uh, I was discussing with my student because when you create a new uh, 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 differential operator, because differential operator help us for modeling, uh, you want to know what will happen in the future. That is why European people are ahead of us because we Africans solve the problem of today. How am I going to eat today? But that should not be the thinking. The thinking should be, how am I going to eat today and how will my son eat tomorrow and my grandson? Very true. So the differentiation is a concept that can help me to build a model, use that model and predict the future. So, uh, but when you build that model now, the question is, how do you solve it? How do you solve this model? Because if you have the solution of that model, you will not be able to do the prediction. So, uh, uh, in our field, there are those gaps where we don't actually have method that can be used to solve those new class of differential equation that uh, I'm, uh, I'm introducing. And uh, really, uh, I'm busy every day working on them because people send me messages, how can we do this? So I have to make sure that they understand what I'm doing. So those are some gaps that I still have now. And uh, another important problem that we, we, we have now in Africa, you know, in our culture, we bury people. And when we bury people, we never care about what happened on the ground. Because in our mind, is that okay? We have already... Uh, we, we, we got the read of the person, but if I can give a brief description of something that happened in the past, uh, people were taking chemical components and they were putting underground. And what happened is that 
the person that that uh, that land belonged to said, "I can never sell this land because he was a scientist, and he knew the impact of such underground." Then the government said, "No, don't waste our time. Uh, we will take this land." And they took the land. They gave him a big land, and they gave him a small amount of money. And the guy left that place because he knew that it's going to be a disaster. What happened many years is that uh, people went there, they build school, people have houses, and they started drinking water from the ground. Oh my goodness. And now what happened is that, you know, I have my problem, my, my kid was born maybe with no, with no ear, uh, ear, no eyes or something, something you know, then I don't tell anyone. I yes. don't tell anyone I had it in my house. But I don't know that the other, the next door friend had the same problem. So one day they noticed that the kid were falling in school, what is the problem? So that man came back and said, are you drinking water from this place? They say yes. Then they noticed that all the chemicals that they had been dunking, they went into water. They absorbed. They and they went into water and it's traveling everywhere. And that actually is affecting the groundwater. And you know in Africa, what we, we don't mostly have uh, water that is potable, but many people rely on groundwater. Oh, and it's a very important issue. And uh, uh, as uh, I gave that example, that when you dump something, it goes down, but when there is rain, there is a recharge, that thing can end up uh, inside the, the groundwater. Mm -hmm. And the people that are using that groundwater, for example, like farmer, like people in the location, they use that groundwater, they can be affected. So one of my focus now is, uh, of course, is one of my focus, not the main, main focus, but what people can understand easily, like a layman, is to check what is the effect of symmetry. Mm -hmm. in groundwater in South Africa. And I will yes. extend it throughout Africa. Because when you, 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 you bury somebody, uh, I can't drink my grandmother. Uh, like one lady told me that when they were young, they would say that you are drinking your grandmother because you are drinking the water that may be contaminated with the remains of uh, man. Of your, yeah. You understand that? So sometimes we create a symmetry and we don't check the the the, the, uh, the the geometrical structure, the geological structure of that that symmetry. Is there any groundwater uh, aquifer on the line that place? Can we possibly affect like the the, the, the pollution from human remain? Can it affect the groundwater? Yes. If yes, how far? So what are the conditions? What are what can we put initially before we build a symmetry? So definitely food for thought if you think of the people that pass away because of COVID that was so highly infectious. So there's definitely all sorts of possibilities. Prof, one word of wisdom with other aspiring researchers. Share some of your very clever wisdom with the researchers out there. Uh, it's, it's very simple. We, I'm uh, building the future not for myself. I'm building the future for the next generation of Africa. Whenever you go to a conference in Europe, for example, a small boy from Cambridge will talk to you in my language, they say, with water in his mouth. Mm -hmm. So he talks proudly. Yes. He's not talking proudly because he has done anything. He's talking proudly because Newton is the first person who came out with the idea of derivative that we are using today. Yes. He's talking proudly because a specific theorem or specific formula were made by somebody from UK. Yes. But can an African boy also go somewhere, speak proudly, say that I'm proud to be African? That's the reason why we are leaving to go there and, and go and work there and go and get money there. And we die in the sea because uh, they, they don't take us there. It is time for African people to understand that African people should build Africa without the help of somebody outside. Very, very so true. we need to work hard, not for us. But for the future. For the future, for the next generation. So when you are a professor, I see some professor, he's a professor. He's uh, working with a uh, shoulder like this. He lost his mind. God made you to be a professor for you to get students. Those students will replace you and they will be the next generation of South Africa, of Africa. So the, 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 the researcher, uh, if they can listen to me, what I will say is that they should not work for themselves. They should not work to impress the rector. They should not work to get more money, but they should work to change the future of the next generation. Prof, you're very passionate and we truly appreciate you. Very knowledgeable and wise man. Now, just for last, the last question. What do you do to relax? What are your hobbies? You sound very busy. You need to relax somewhere. Yes, you're, you're, you're right. That is uh, where I have a big weakness. 
my, my, my father-in-law was here and he told me that you look like you're a boring man. You look like you're not a man. Because when uh, a man is somebody who come back from work, sometimes he go outside with his friend, but you leave the office and come home and go to the office or you go to church. Uh, and I told him that for you to make impact, you need to be focused. So I don't know what is my hobby. Maybe it's, uh, as you saw me on the gymnast, maybe that is my hobby. I don't know. I don't have, I don't know. Yeah, the, it's very important. The mind must be fit, but the body must be too. Yes. I tend to do the same thing to myself, so I know where you're coming from. Yes. Prof, we want to thank you so much for your time, your wisdom, and your passion, and we wish you the best going forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.